Hi guys, I'm here with my friend and amazing guitarist Oliver and uh, he finally came to visit me in Italy after many many years of friendship and uh, of just playing through Skype, you know and uh, we kind of decided that we want to just make some videos together this week and especially make some John Frusciante tone videos so, what are we gonna do today? Slain Castle intro seems like a huge mystery to a lot of people, a lot of people wanting to get this tone. Yeah. And it seems like there is a division between people thinking it's the Big Muff, some people thinking it's just the DS2, yeah. is it a combination, well, or is it the first factory? Well, if I must be honest, back in the day, I was always thinking, oh, it's just Big Muff and DS2, but eventually, just by reading other people saying through the years, always the same thing, and hearing, oh, it's the Fast Factory and the DS2, it's the Fast Factory and the DS2, I just convinced my mind about it, but thanks to our test, I mean, what are we gonna prove? <laughs> Okay, so we spent about, would you say, 48 hours without any sleep trying to get the rig sounding perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got a Made in Japan DS2, we've got an NYC 2000 era Big Muff, which is the one which John used. And uh, a Fast Factory replica made by Chase Blue Studio. I mean, it's just a Fast Factory, but with automations and presets, so it's as good as the best factory can be. Okay, so what we thought we would try is how is it going to sound with DS2 into the Big Muff and how is it going to sound first factory into the DS2, Right. which I mean we're going to put a picture on the screen of a photo of John's board and this is the order that they were, first factory, DS2, Big Muff. Um, I guess we have made up our minds and we personally believe it is these doing that intro tone. But watch the video and let us know in the comments which you think you prefer. Yeah, let us know. Enjoy the video. Bye.